Hello guys, my name is Balkrishna Shivastav and welcome to Code with BK. So in this video, we discuss the next method in scanner class in Java. So before we begin, it is a request to please, 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 please subscribe to my channel because out of 100 viewers, only one or two is subscribed and your subscription is very important for me. So please, 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 please do subscribe to my channel. So let's begin. So next is a method in scanner class and we discuss how this works. Okay. So let me write the definition for next. So next extracts returns the first sequence of consecutive non-white space characters as a string from a scanner source, ignoring all white spaces. So there are multiple points here. Okay. So the first thing is first sequence of consecutive non-white space characters. This WS is white space and here white space is any possible white space is that can be backslash n single space backslash t okay any white space okay so what do i mean by sequence of consecutive non white space characters this basically means a word okay so loosely you can say it is a word okay a consecutive sequence of non white space characters which is basically a word no white space between consecutive characters okay it is returned as a string okay because a word would be a string from a scanner source okay i'll just tell you what a scanner source is ignoring all white spaces that is when it starts extracting and if it finds white spaces okay it ignores all of them till it finds a word which is a consecutive non-white space character sequence okay all right so before i explain this further let me tell you what a scanner source is okay so we can use a scanner object to read from different input sources okay a source is a way to provide input to a program and scanner is a way to read from that source okay so they can be multiple sources okay so I'm going to tell you about three sources. The first one is standard input, standard input. Okay. This is basically your console or terminal where you type in your input. Okay. Scanner can read from that. Second is file. Okay. You can pass the contents of the file as input. So the source can be a file as well. Okay. And the third is string, which I will explain in a moment. All right. So if you want to create a scanner object to read from standard input, we create scanner object like this scanner sc1 equal to new scanner system dot in. Okay. Scanner is the name of the class. Sc1 is the variable name. You can have any variable name here. New is the keyword to create a new object. Okay. And here we are calling the constructor and in the constructor, we are passing the system dot in as the argument indicating that this object will read from the standard input which is your console or terminal okay if you want to read the contents of the file as a source using a scanner we create a scanner object like this new scanner okay and we pass in the file as the source so i create a new file and within the constructor for this file class i pass the name of the file which is to be used as a source okay all right Class name, variable name, you can have any variable name, new keyword to create a new object, calling the constructor, passing in the file that I want to read, and this is the name of the file. Okay, you can have any name of the file. All right. So in this case, the contents of the file act as a source. All right. Now, both these scanner sources are basically reading strings indirectly. Okay. Because when you type to a console or terminal, whatever you type goes in as a string to the scanner object which is then read okay, as, then, as an input. Similarly, when you pass this file as an input source, the contents of the file are passed as a string to this scanner. Okay? So the input is read as a string from this file source. Okay? So basically, these two sources are reading input as string. So you can also directly pass a string to a scanner source. So you can say scanner as C3 equal to new scanner okay and you can pass a string okay to be used as input so you can say my name is Parakrishna s right okay since these two scanners are reading strings this from standard input this from file we can also create a scanner that takes a string as an argument and this is your input source in this case okay this is the variable name new keyword and in the constructor, we pass a string, which will be our input to this scanner. All right. So now why am I telling you about different scanner sources? The idea of telling these three different sources that scanner methods like 
नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट इंट ओके नेक्स्ट लाइन ओके दे वर्क द सेम रिगार्डलेस ऑफ द सोर्स ओके बिकॉज द सोर्स इज बेसिकली अ स्ट्रिंग इनपुट राइट सो दीज कैनल मेथड विल वर्क एग्जैक्टली द सेम फॉर ऑल थ्री डिफरेंट सोर्सेस ओके सो इफ आई टेल यू हाउ नेक्स्ट वर्क इन स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट इट विल वर्क इन द सेम वे फॉर फाइल एंड फॉर स्ट्रिंग इनपुट राइट ओके सो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ नेक्स्ट वर्क फॉर डिफरेंट इनपुट डिफरेंट स्ट्रिंग इनपुट ओके सो इफ दिस इज माई टर्मिनल और कंसोल ओके और राइट एंड दिस इज माई प्रॉन्ट ओके सो इफ आई प्रोवाइड इनपुट एज माई स्पेस नेम आई एम गोइंग टू यूज अंडर स्कोर टू टू रिप्रेजेंट अ स्पेस नेम इज चेंज इन लाइन आई एम गोइंग टू यूज दिस टू डिनोट अ चेंज इन लाइन चेंज इन लाइन चेंज इन लाइन चेंज इन लाइन स्पेस स्पेस बाल कृष्णा स्पेस स्पेस चेंज इन लाइन चेंज इन लाइन चेंज इन लाइन स्पेस स्पेस श्रीवास्तव ओके राइट आई एम क्रिएटिंग अ स्टैंडर्ड ऑब्जेक्ट दैट रीड्स फ्रॉम स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट एंड टू दैट स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट आई एम प्रोवाइडिंग दिस इनपुट एंड आई टोल्ड यू दैट वॉट एवर इनपुट यू प्रोवाइड टू स्टैंडर्ड इनपुट बेसिकली गोज एज अ स्ट्रिंग टू दिस स्कैनर ऑब्जेक्ट विच इज देन रेड एज इनपुट okay so if you convert this to a string we have the first character as m then y then space name space is change in line okay change in line character is backslash n three more change in lines backslash n backslash n backslash n space space bal krishna okay change space space change in line space space change in line change in line change in line space space shri vastava okay so this input basically goes as this string into your scanner object which reads from standard input okay now i'm going to call sc1 okay which is reading from terminal dot next okay all right so when i call sc1 dot next this definition is followed on this input okay next extracts and returns the first sequence of consecutive non white space characters that is it returns the first word as a string from scanner source which is this input ignoring all white spaces okay if there are white spaces before finding a word it ignores that okay so it looks at this which is a non white space character looks at this which is a non white space character so this is returned as a word because this is a white space okay the first call to next returns the string my okay and this green part is the input right so far okay the next call of next is going to start reading from here now if i call next again okay it follows the same definition ignore all white spaces till you find a word okay in short white space ignored this is a word a consecutive sequence of non white space characters so the next call to next on sc1 which is getting this as input okay gets name as the return value All right it turns a string and this green part is the input that is red it ignored this white space and it returned this non white space sequence of characters as a word okay as a string okay so this is it okay the next call of next okay ignore this white space and this is the sequence of non white space characters because backslash n is a white space so the next call of next returns this okay calling this next again okay ignore all white spaces white space ignored 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 and this is a sequence of non white space characters so this is returned so this is returned and the string returned is this okay this entire sequence of non white space characters is returned as a string okay next call to sc dot next returns this is ignored 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 this is returned okay so this sequence of non white space characters is returned so this is returned as okay so this value is returned okay all right what happens if you call sc1 dot next again that is you are trying to extract a word from this input which is exhausted we don't have any input left okay so we get no such element exception okay because you are expecting the string to be returned from this input but this input is exhausted 
so you get no such element exception all right okay so i hope our next work is you know getting clear to you okay all right now if i have a file say in dot txt from which this sc2 is reading okay so the source for this sc2 is in dot txt and i pass the exact same contents i type my a my name underscore space underscore is a space is change in line change in line change in line change in line space space bal krishna space space change in line change in line change in line space space see vastava okay this is my in dot txt which is the source for this sc2 okay so when i do sc2 dot next okay since this input is same as this input so this goes as a string which is exactly this string into this scanner okay so the first call to sc2.next will return the same value because the input string passed is the same so you get my as the first return value okay so again so again this is the part of the input which is read on the first call to sc.next and this is the part that remains all right the next call to sc2.next will give the same return it will give you name okay because it ignores this white space and returns this sequence of non white space characters as a string okay all right and then if you keep calling this again it will follow the same sequence and the input will be exhausted okay since there are 1 2 3 4 5 words so we can have five calls to next the final call to next will give you no such element exception because we have exhausted exhausted the entire input all right so point of telling you these two different sources is that the input string is the same okay if you pass it via terminal or by or via file okay the call to sc dot next based upon whichever scanner you are calling for the same input it will give you the same return values okay all right okay a third source is basically passing this as a string so if to my sc3 equal to new scanner okay i pass a string which is exactly this okay the calls to sc3 dot next sc3 dot next will give me the same return values okay if i pass this exact string in this constructor for sc3 okay for a scanner object reading from a string okay okay when is exact when this exact same string is passed into this scanner constructor okay it will have the same return values for calls to next okay because scanner because next method will behave in the same way for the same input even when the sources are different okay so let me take one more example input on which i am going to call next and see how it works so i'm going to remove this so in my terminal console this is my prompt i type space 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 i say rani space 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 enter lakshmi bai space space enter 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 space revolt space space of 1857 okay this is my input all right so my input string is going to be space 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 the word rani space 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 enter backslash n lakshmi by is one single word space space enter 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 space revolt space space of 1857 okay this is my input string okay first call to next white space white space white space ignore 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 this is my first sequence of non white space characters returned as a string okay next call to next starts from here white space ignored 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 this is the first sequence of uh, non white space characters so the return value to second call of next will be lakshmi bai okay third call will start extracting from here white space 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 this is the sequence of non white space characters which is returned as a string so the third call to next returns this string okay 
the fourth call to next will ignore white space ignore white space of 1857 is one single word so returns of 1857 okay when you call next again you get no such element exception okay and it cannot have another call all right okay so if this input is passed here it will get the same string and it will give you the same return values for this calls to next all right okay so summarizing this next basically ignores all white spaces till it finds a word to return as a string so a word is basically a sequence of consecutive non white space characters okay if there is no more input left we get no such element exception because we are trying to call next on input which is exhausted we don't have any more input left all right one more thing is if you close the scanner suppose if you do sc1.close okay you can close a scanner as well and then if you do sc1.next so we are trying to so you are trying to read when you have closed a scanner so this gives you illegal state exception all right and in this case we don't have input mismatch exception okay so next int returns an input mismatch exception when you are trying to extract an int and if you don't get an integer okay in this case if we don't have next we don't have uh, input mismatch exception because it can extract everything as a string as long as there is an input okay as long as there is a sequence of non white space characters okay so this was the solution to this problem and i hope this was helpful so before we move on to running this on a system now it is request to please 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 subscribe to my channel and let's move on to running this on a system now so as i explained i have taken three different scanner objects okay to read from three different scanner sources so sc1 will read from system.in which is a standard input sc2 will read from file and sc3 will read from the string so i am going to provide this very same exact input to my standard input and file so let me paste in this file all right so backslash n is basically change in line so i change in line again change in line again change in line and again change in line all right change in line okay change in line and change in line and again change in line okay so now this is my exact input which is this particular string all right and this is what i'm going to paste it in the standard input when i run this so let me copy this all right and let me run so i'll say java c how to use next end in scanner dot java java how to use next end scanner all right so i am going to copy this input okay and i am going to paste it here okay so paste all right so i have calls to sc1.next sc2.next and sc3.next so sc1.next is going to return me the next from standard input which is my all right similarly sc2.next will return me this from file and so it returns my similarly sc3.next will read this as a source and return the first string which is first word which is my all right calling these again okay and i'll pass the same input okay to the standard input again so let me run this okay oh i haven't compiled so i'll stop compile run all right so i'll paste again all right so the first call returns my for all the three scanners and the second call returns name all right so i am going to comment these two and i'm just going to check border cases using this file okay so i'm going to comment this entire thing okay comment this entire thing only sc2 is used okay so i'm going to use sc2.next okay 1 2 3 4 5 okay i have 1 2 3 4 5 5 strings all right five words so this should give me one word at every call of next okay so compile run okay my name is valkrishna shivastava okay all right let me take another case i'll say rani space 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 lakshmi space 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 bai enter space enter 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 revolt space of 1857 all right okay and since my code remains the same i don't need to recompile okay i can just run the code again because my input file has changed okay so i'll say this and the first call returns rani then the second call returns lakshmi third call returns bai fourth call to next returns this and the fifth call returns this all right if i have this once again 
all right i will get no such element exception because i'm expecting a word from this input and i don't have it all right so compiling again because i have changed the code and running again so i get no such element exception all right on line number 34 which is this all right okay and let me take one more case i'll say i'll just add numbers and words both okay so i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 words so i have not changed the code so i'm not going to recompile so 6 calls to next 1 2 3 4 5 6 this should run just fine okay first word second word third word fourth word fifth word and sixth word right so each white space separated number is treated as a word because it is a sequence of non white space characters all right and if you provide the same input to standard input or this scanner as a string it will give you the same output so let me use sc3 okay so i'll copy and paste sc3 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 comment this and close sc3 so i'll just take a random set of 1 2 1 3 space w w r 6 12 7 90 1 2 3 4 5 6 words and 6 calls again compiling this this should be fine okay if i add one more call to next i'll get a element no such element exception because i have an extra call which is on line 35 okay all right okay so this is how the next method in scanner class works in java all right so i hope this was helpful so if you like this video if you found this helpful please 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 do subscribe to my channel please like my video and please share my channel and if there was something that you did not like about this video please don't just dislike the video please also let me know in the comments what you did not like about this video so that i can improve upon my future videos all right and you can also let me know in the comments if there is a question you want to solve or if there is a concept you want to discuss thank you